December 24th at exactly 8 o'clock. So the gate should be opening to Chitsun Itza right now. And we are currently behind a tour bus. And there's another tour bus right behind us. And then there's a couple of bicycles, like motorcycles, that parked. So if you ever plan to come to Chitsun Itza, get here early because I imagine like the line's going to get really long really fast. Right? Definitely the coolest, best preserved, best looking. So besides the pyramid being really cool, I want to mention the gimbal. You've been liking that, right? This thing is awesome. <laughs> Great shot. cameras in each hand. But this Nikon, the Sony, he is the GoPro and his phone. He's slowly starting to fill up with a couple of tours. It's not bad yet. Yet. It's not that bad Another yet. 20 minutes it'll be real bad. Oh yeah. And it is... What kind is it? It is... 840. 840. So by so, 9 o'clock this place is packed. Yeah. So if you want some good pictures in, get here super early. Like before they even open early. That's so cool. I hope you can hear that, but every time he claps, there's like a little zip. Zip. Do it again. Ah, that's so cool. <laughs> Chitsa Itza, there's this little temple looking temple. thing. It looks temple. like a temple. And yeah, it's got some cool pillars. It's kind of cool that you're like touching something that's. Yeah, they just like fell off one of those pillars. Now they're just scattered here. And they all have like a little bit of detail on it. If you can. Yeah, you can see that. Every single one has some detail on it. Amazing how much like work they put into every single stone and how long this probably took to build. Again, we didn't have a tour guide, so the only thing I know about Chichen Itza is that it's two pyramids. when I said earlier that Chichen Itza was like two pyramids. There was like an old structure and then they rebuilt on top of it. So underneath this is another mini pyramid. What time was it? 9.40. 9.40 and still it's actually not that bad. I take back what I said earlier. I read in the travel book that it starts to get really bad at like 10.30. So I guess you don't have to get here like super super early. 
We're going to see the cenote. Oh yeah, you can see the water. Called cenote sagrado, sagrado. I think. And it's part of the, the Chitza Itza like, little area. But apparently this is where the Mayans would make offerings to their god. To, right, to the god? Mm -hmm. Of like gold and metals and precious things. And children. Including children and adult males. Apparently a lot of skeletons were found in this. A cenote is just basically a sunken water hole. So now you can't obviously go in there anymore. But you can kind of see like there's part of the ruins. I'm assuming that's where you just like get pushed off to your death. But hooray because you're sacrificing yourself or might be for a sacrifice. I don't know. We just read that on the plaque. So pretty cool. Pretty interesting. Pretty weird that tourists now think, oh, that's so cool. This is but where really, a bunch of people died. Yeah, it's basically <laughs> we're staring at a cemetery, which is kind of odd. It's kind of like a Mayan wishing well. Yeah. They throw coins and shit into it. Including people. <laughs> and people, yeah. I mean, if you really want your wish, you'd throw a kid. That's messed up. Okay. <laughs> That's so messed up. <laughs> so now it's like 10.30 and the tour buses are all here because look at the crowd. Completely empty, and now it's nothing but like vendors and buses. We just left Chicha. It's uh, we got there at eight. We left at eleven. So I didn't even know that Chicha Itza had so much more to it besides like the main pyramid. But there was like a lot. There was like two cenotes, like ball courts, other temples and stuff. So we walked around. I would say. That we consistently walking around. We didn't really take any breaks for like three hours. So one, we're walking shoes and okay. When you first like get in there, because as we were leaving there was nothing but little vendors on the side so it looks like you're walking into what's called like a market. market. It didn't even look like a wonder of the world so I don't know, I think that kind of takes away from it, right? See? I mean I understand these people have to make money but it's it's an archaeological site. Yeah, and they're all like hounding you. It's like, oh, bye, bye, bye. Oh, it's here. Well, whatever. But uh, so the parking, you have to pay for parking, and that was thirty pesos, which is like a dollar fifty, dollar fifty U.S. And then the tickets are two hundred sixty-two pesos per person for non-Mexican citizens. I think Mexican citizens was like one fifty-seven pesos. So 262 is like 10 ish dollars, US dollars. Pesos for both of us. So it was like 500 pesos for both of us, which is about $20? About. Yeah. So not that bad for a wonder of the world. To Merida, it's about an hour and a half, two hours away from Chichen Itza on the opposite side of where Cancun was. If you can hear that, it's just like a bike passing. We just got to our fourth, yeah, our fourth Airbnb, and I'm gonna show you the room, and I'm going to leave this one in the description bar as well. So when you come in, it's all white, nice cleaned tile floors, a little sitting area, kitchen, microwave, freezer, and full-size fridge, which is really nice. And here's the bathroom. Oops. And yeah, shower, everything looks clean. I think this conditioner, I don't know, but everything's pretty nice. Here's another cute little sitting area with, this is actually our first Airbnb with TV. <laughs> and then here's the bed with fan and AC, which is nice. And here's towels and some cabinets. That's pretty much it for this room. And I think this was $25 a night. So, <sighs> cute hubby went down the street to get water. Cause, you know, water in Mexico. Oh. But then he comes back with a cute little flower. Thanks, babe. I'm gonna list the Airbnb that we're staying at in Merida. And it was kind of hard to find. So this is a street view if you want to stay here. And this is 
Kaya 14, one of the streets. I don't think I mentioned the cute little car that we're driving. It's so tiny. It's perfect for what we need. It's super gas efficient. It's a Chevy Spark. This is Mexico. This is Merida. This vacation has been a workout. It's like we walk around for like three hours, and then we drive a little bit. And it's been like that for 10 days ish now. Gringos. Gringos. Every time we see white people, we're like gringos. Every time we see a dog, battle. Parking is also nice because you don't really pay anything. No, we haven't paid for anything, even in Playa del Carmen. Nothing. to get pizza in the middle of a residential area and no one spoke English so it was like it took probably five minutes for them to even understand what we were trying to do oh, this is what seven dollars gets you you get I don't know what these are it's like little cheesy bites, cheesy bites triangle de sabor I don't know what these are what is this oh it's like little cheesy bites and then it got us coke, a big coke, and pizza, super pizza, yum. That's gonna be it for today's vlog. I remembered to end it two days in a row. Yay. We're just gonna eat. Feliz Navidad and Uxmal tomorrow. Bye.